Hello everyone and welcome to Ask Rx Mike, where I answer your questions related to pharmacy practice and the pharmacy technician career. Today's question comes in from Nicole and she asks, can a pharmacy technician become a supervisor or manager? Now, many people have asked me if it's possible to move up in the world of pharmacy over the years and become a supervisor. And the answer is yes, absolutely. But let me break down what you need to do to make that happen. One, gain experience. Most employers require pharmacy technicians to have a certain amount of experience before being considered for a supervisory role. And gaining experience in various areas such as customer service, inventory management, and medication preparation can increase a pharmacy technician's chances of being promoted to a supervisory role. Two, get certified or specialized education. Some employers may require pharmacy technicians to have a certification or specific education to be considered for a supervisory role. Completing a specialized program in pharmacy or healthcare management could also increase your chances of becoming a supervisor. Three, utilize internal training programs. Some employers have internal training programs that can help technicians develop the necessary skills to become a supervisor. Take advantage of these opportunities and demonstrate a willingness to learn and grow. Four, network and build relationships. Networking and building relationships with other supervisors and managers in pharmacy could also increase your chances of getting promoted. It's important to show that you're well-connected and that you understand the needs and goals of the pharmacy. Five, stay current on industry news and changes in regulations. Pharmacy technicians need to stay up to date on industry updates and particularly any changes in regulations. This shows that you are dedicated to your profession and that you're committed to providing safe and effective patient care. Six, take initiative and demonstrate leadership. Perhaps the most important thing you can do is show initiative by taking on additional responsibilities and leading by example. Demonstrate leadership qualities by being organized and efficient, communicating effectively, and providing guidance and mentoring to other pharmacy technicians. So in conclusion, becoming a supervisor as a pharmacy technician requires a combination of experience, education, and skills. By doing the following, gaining experience in various areas of the pharmacy, getting certified or specialized education, utilizing internal training programs, networking and building relationships, staying current on industry updates and regulations, and taking initiative and demonstrating leadership, you will increase your chances of being promoted to a supervisor role. Remember to be patient, continue developing your skills and knowledge, and be open to new opportunities for growth and advancement. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video has been helpful. Please be sure to like and subscribe. And if you have a pharmacy technician related question that you'd like for me to answer, be sure to drop it in the comment section below. See you next time.